Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D, and today I'm going to be showing you the Cloth Library add-on by Top Channel One on One. So he does a lot of blend tutorials as well, and this is his first product that he's released. And let's kind of just quickly go through it on how to make clothes for people using the uh, presets that he's already got there. So let's go jump into it. So to first install the Cloth Library, you simply go Edit Preferences Install find the location of the downloaded zip, click the install button, and then make sure you put a tick next to the cloth library. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Now it's available. Now, first up, you can always use the dummy that comes with it. However, I've got my own character and that's what I'm gonna be using. Now with these ones, these are all kind of pre-created. So they pre-simulated pieces. So for instance, let me just go the jacket. We can see that the jacket's already, you know, jazzed up. I can't do anything with it. But what I could do is go into the sculpting tools and kind of move the mesh around, so on and so forth. And then we've got our jacket. But that's not what I really want to look at. What I want to look at is all pre-simulated cloth or simulated cloth. And then from here, what we can do is we've got a range of templates that we can use. Let's kind of just jump into a shirt. And so this is how it comes in. And for those of you who watch my stuff very often, this looks pretty much like the Simply Cloth Pro and it's kind of, we just got to line these up. I'm just going to grab this section in here. Let's press O. I'm just going to move this out. Whoops. O, G, Y. Let's kind of just bulge that out so it goes around his belly. There we go in here. And so let me just quickly clean this up. Cool bananas. That's looking pretty good. I might just expand it a little bit more. Um, let's grab all this and just line this up Bloop, like so. Nice, nice. Um, we've got a little bit of an issue here. Let's just bring that out like so. Um, and then let's just press play. So I'm just going to stop the simulation there because if we click here, we can see that it hasn't joined up here. So let's just go back to reset sim. So let's select our body. We will come into the collision properties the thickness outer we're going to change that to 0.005 and you should see that that'll be a lot less so you can already see how much closer it is to the skin this area down here has been resolved now so that seems to have fixed up a lot of problems so if i press escape now let's come back to here we can see that we've got a very nice looking shirt the other thing as well we can do well distance you know we can change this to 0.05 so if I go reset sim, let's go for the last time, press play. Now this is the issue as well, is that it doesn't clear the simulation whenever we're changing settings. What we actually need to go is tab into edit mode, make a little movement, come back in, reset, press play, and then the cloth simulation will kind of start again. And then we have a really nice, good looking shirt using the cloth library add-on. That is the Cloth Library add-on. There is a link in the description. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. It keeps up with my content. And until next time, 